Hello party people and welcome to Side Two's Book Club. Today we're reviewing our book of the year, the B-Boy Championships from Bronx to Brixton. We're lucky to be joined today by the authors of this book. Sup Hooch, sup Rob. B-Boy Champs in its 16th year, why did you feel it was a good time to release the book from Bronx to Brixton? Well, the, the, actually what happened was the publishers approached us with an idea of doing a, a book on dance of some kind, like street dance or whatever it was. They, they were, they were cl pretty clueless when it came to any of it, they just liked the idea. Um, that's not this, they just didn't really know one way or the other what, what was out there. So they approached us through, through the agency and we showed them some of the imagery from the B-Boy Championships and that pretty much sealed the deal if you like they kind of like went wow that's amazing we, we've got fo photography from the last 15 years we kind of showed them stuff some of the stuff that we used at the exhibition on the 10th anniversary and um, that was enough to sort of hook them in and we put the deal together from there and then obviously working on top of that we decided that it was going to be more than just the photography so we 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 wanted to to get the input from the dancers who were the champions you know so we got them I interviewed all the top guys that won the championships either in solos, pop in, b-boy or, or crew and we also got kind of like a glossary of moves and sort of a little bit of a description of the language so it's kind of like it appeals to people who know all about b-boying and people who don't know anything about b-boying. Cool. Uh, what's it been like this year especially with running an event without a major sponsor? It's been actually quite nice um, running without a sponsor this year because it gives you a certain amount of freedom. So yeah. if you're dealing with, say for example, a big sponsor, normally you have to go through a number of different bodies to get an answer on one thing. And um, that, that's kind of something you have to get used to. Obviously it's, it's not a bad thing when you have great sponsors like we have, have, it, have had in the past. But um, now we have the freedom to say, well we like that, let's do it. Or yeah. we want to do it this way and that's, that's the way we're going to go. So there's been no sort of like um, slow-mo in decisions. It's all been like, okay, let, this is the way we want to do it. This is the way we're going to do it. So from right from the very beginning when we did the creative with Gary Salter, we came up with the idea, okay, let's do something more industrial. Let's do it in this kind of like, you know, gritty environment, which they suggested would be a um, shipping container yard. We just said, yep, love it. Let's do it. We've got Brahim, Roxy, Steady and um, Sunny straight, straight away. We did the shoot in a day, we put the creative together, we, we knew exactly what we wanted to do. So th those kind of things really work well when you haven't got a sponsor to deal with. We do have sponsors involved in the event but no title. So this year we had, we've still got New Era and we've got ASIC still involved. And we've got Chief Rock, our own clothing line involved as well. So we're not completely on our own. Um, but we are um, we don't have a title this year, which is which. So the title is the B Boy Champion, UK B Boy Championships comes first, and we kind of like that. Yeah, good times. Yeah. Um, so in, in moving forward, um, what's the uh, what do you see as the future of the, of the B Boy Champs? What's next for B Boy Champs and for and for Pro Dance the agency? For future of the B Boy Championships is just really like we always say to lead the way. We want to be. We want to. We, we we feel that we've been responsible and at the very cutting edge of the culture for for the last fifteen years, and um, we really want to stay there. We want to make sure that we're a, we're a, a reason of for excellence, if you like. You know, we're the, we we represent the elite dancers from all over the world. The qualifiers that happen all over the world basically will funnel the to the greatest eight in the world hopefully every year yeah. and then the, the solo dancers to 16. Um, we want to keep doing that, we want to build on our qualifiers because worldwide we've never really been bigger. So we have, I mean, 20 countries represent to get down to that eight at the moment. Yeah. We're looking to develop into China next year, uh, the Middle East and South America. So, you know, where we're pushing now, we've got obviously our European Championships, which is because we've got so many countries that want to come from Europe, we have to do those qualifiers that go to IBE and do the European Championships, which we do with IBE and Tyrone and Mario. And um, we want to do the same in Asia and we want to do the same in South America. And North America will probably take care of itself because it's such a big area anyway. So 
in terms of the way we push forward for the future is that's that's where we want to lead and we want to be self-sufficient in that in that venture you know yeah. we don't want to be reliant on on money from other people we'll always work with companies who feel that they've got something to gain by being with us but I think the nature of b-boy culture at the moment is growing so fast and it's so dynamic that we we should be in a position where we're running our own our own uh, show you know yeah. and I think in terms of the big promoters worldwide, like ourselves and uh, IBE, Tyrone and Mario and John Jay and Cross and Battle of the Year, Thomas and stuff like that, we're, we're realising that the power is now with us. So as we move forward, it's, it's a question of building with the brands that come on board, but, but only working through our vision. Yeah, okay. How have like, sites like YouTube and Facebook really affected what you do and the way you do it? Well, um, in recent years, Facebook and YouTube has kind of revolutionised b-boying because it's a basically uh, the world community has come together immediately. You know, obviously, it's done the same kind of thing with every every part of, of life, right? Um, and the internet is something that we've embraced from the very beginning. I mean, when we first start, started the b-boy championship in '96, there was no internet. I mean, there was, but no one used it. You know, and I think we had the first website which we we started at around. Um, 2003 or two th it was around then, you know. Before then, everything was done by phone and fax, and and then when the when the internet came on, we really jumped on that. We had a website straight away, and you know, now of course it's just like it's normal. And we've got we, it's standard, right? So we've got website, Facebook, YouTube channel, we and it's all about building that community worldwide, so that we've got like a network of people who will who will support the B-Boy Championship no matter what they support the b-boys and the culture no matter what so it doesn't matter whether it goes out of fashion or it stays in fashion you know fashion as you know and anybody who's involved in hip-hop is not relevant in our culture it's all about style not fashion we don't care what comes in goes out we just do it every day and the, and the benefit of the um, the social networks and the internet in general is that we are in control of that so you know whether it comes to music or, or video or merchandising or just tickets or events, networking, agency, it's all about uh, you know, utilising these networks and the, and the, and the, um, and the internet to, 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 to build our own brands rather than building someone else's. Okay. Um, what changes have you seen, what are the biggest changes that you've seen in the last 16 years in the b-boy culture and where do you think it's going next? I think b-boy has changed some some of it's changed beyond all recognition. The moves are completely different. You know, I mean, in terms of like, if you think about back uh, back in '96, it was like backspins and windmills, and now it's air flares and, and inverted freezes and stuff like that. But I think there's there's a duty f amongst all of us involved in b-boy culture is to to keep the flavour. You know, is to make sure that it doesn't doesn't just become a spectacle of of tricks and flips you know it's about a dance and about cultural dance at the end of the day and, and if that has developed into some kind of amazing competition which it has worldwide that's fair enough but we we want to make sure that the music is 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 the major part of it and you know you quite quite often explain to people uh, how the b-boy championships works in that the dj will play music that the b-boys are not they don't know what they're going to play. They might know the records because we're familiar with all that stuff. But And people are really surprised because, of course, they're at the moment, especially in the UK, fed on this drip feed of diversity and these this, this street dance stuff, you know, that is very, very sort of like uh, commercial. They know, you know, it's a two-minute show. It's, it's choreographed. It's packaged. It, it's there to appeal to an X-Factor audience. We're nothing like that. We're, we're about hip-hop, you know. It's about hip-hop or rock and roll, if you like, you know. And it's got to be raw and gritty and that flavour's got to come through and that's what we try and push at the B-Boy Championships, which is why our sponsors have had to work w alongside us and we don't work for them, yeah. um, even, even, even in the past. And we were lucky enough to be able to do that. And I think the challenge going forward, because more and more big brands do want to get involved in this culture, is to make sure that they come on board because they like what's happening, you know, rather than think, oh, we'd like to change this. And I see that a lot in different dance forms other than b-boying. Okay. Cool. Thanks. One love to be better from the b-boy championships, DJ Hooch. We'll see you at Brixton. <laughs>